Hello everyone, it's Brian from WorkshopAddict.com. Today we're going to take a look at Makita's 18 volt X2 LTX, which is a 36 volt brushless rear handle chainsaw. We got this model in a kit and it's number XCU03PTX1 and that kit includes two 5.0 amp hour batteries, their dual charger, which is awesome, and also a free grinder. So you can also get this tool as a bear tool and you can probably also find this kit with just the batteries. But at this point in time, I would look out for this free grinder kit because it's pretty awesome. So in this video, we're gonna go over some quick specs. We're gonna walk around the tool. We're gonna show you our use and then talk about our impressions of this chainsaw. So hitting on some quick specs, the saw comes with a 3 8 inch pitch Oregon chain and a 14 inch bar. The recommended bar length is between 12 and 16 inches. The saw has a variable speed trigger with speed from 0 to 3,940 feet per second. And this has a purpose built motor from Makita and it's an outer rotor brushless motor with a direct drive system. It's a 36 volt tool so you do need both 18 volt batteries in it to run. It does include metal bucking spikes and it does have an electronic and mechanical chain break. Makita has been building motors for a very long time and they've been building purpose-built brushless motors since 2003. Now this Makita outer rotor brushless motor inside this unit along with the direct drive system gives some excellent torque and beyond that when you're using two 18 volt batteries to supply the 36 volt power it gives a lot of depth to their system. You can have a bunch of drills, you can have over 150 different tools from Makita, use these same two batteries and rock and roll. So if you have a lot of Makita tools, you're gonna have a lot of these batteries sitting around fully charged. And beyond that, Makita has this dual charger that charges both these 5.0 amp hour batteries at the same time in under 45 minutes. That's absolutely awesome and with the runtime of this unit, you can pretty much keep a set of batteries on the charger, a set of batteries in the tool and keep cutting. When you take this chainsaw out of the box, you have to put the bar and chain on the saw. And I think that's very important for everyone to learn how these chain tensioners work and they're different on every saw. So on this saw, you have to make sure that you line up a little bar that goes inside the chain that pushes it forward and backward so your tool-free chain tensioner will work. It's very simple to do. Just make sure that you kind of match that up before you screw down the nut. Now, once it's on, this is easy to tighten the chain. You use a little spring-loaded lever. You can just move this around. It loosens up the bar. And then you have a chain tensioner here. If you push it forward, it tightens the chain. If you push it in reverse, it loosens the chain. Once you get it to where you want the tension to be, push it over, push this down, and it goes back into place, locks in there. Very nice, very easy to use. Makita designed this saw to be very familiar to anyone who uses a gas chainsaw. In fact, there's a lot of features that are not found on other electronic or battery operated chainsaws. And one of them is the metal bucking spikes. And these metal bucking spikes allow you to dig into the tree a little bit and push a little harder on the saw. And in some cases, it gives you the feeling that you can really push the saw like a more powerful gas chainsaw might cut and you'll find yourself stopping the saw or timing it out. Not a big deal. Uh, you just have to learn how much pressure you can put on the saw. And it is a very powerful saw, but at the same point, you have a lot of ability to put some pressure in, make this saw try to work, and it will let you know that, hey, you're pushing a little bit too hard. Now with that too, you have a mechanical and electronic chain break. So when it's in the forward position, the electronics will not allow you to start the saw. When it is pulled back, it is in the normal position that allow you to start the saw. And if you did happen to get kickback or anything and it pushes forward, it will mechanically stop the chain immediately. The bar and chain oil tank is located on the left side of the saw and has a opaque tank. So you can see the level and it's hard to see in here, but it's right about there. So your oil level is easy to check while you're using the saw. The automatic oiler is adjustable on the bottom of the saw from less to more oil. In, in our testing, we cranked that thing up to give us the most oil that we could get on our bar and chain. 
The batteries that come with the kit are 5.0 amp hour and they do include their own fuel gauge. But once you place them in the saw, the fuel gauge is hidden and hard to get to. So Makita added another fuel gauge on top. You push the button and it'll tell you how much fuel is left in the batteries. Makita has an interesting way of conserving battery with the power button. Now to turn the saw on, you push that button, a green LED light comes on. There's a handle safety that you push down and then you have a variable speed trigger. Now you notice that light is blinking and that's because the chain brake is on. If you let go of that safety, that green LED light will turn off and you will not be able to start the saw again until you push that power button. If you hold this safety down, that green light will stay on. If you use the saw in that manner, make sure you use the chain brake for safety while moving around. After you're done using this saw, we highly recommend that you take everything apart, clean it up, and put it back together. We found that using WD-40 to clean different parts up allows us to check for any issues that we might have with the chain or any plastic parts to see if anything's rubbing. Give us an idea of how the parts are, does the chain need to be sharpened, etc. It's just a great way to go through the chainsaw at the end of the day, check the safety features, make sure everything works, put it back together and be ready to rock and roll for the next time you need the chainsaw. While using this chainsaw, we were cutting down a lot of trees in our property that had some insect issues. While we can say that this is not the most powerful battery operated chainsaw that we've ever used, it is right up there and has more of the features that you'll find on larger gas chainsaws on the market. And with that said, it gives us the feel and the comfort factor that we would rank this in the top three chainsaws that are out there. Now, I really like this model a lot more than the much larger battery models. We have two 18 volt batteries on here that are five amp hour. That gives us 36 volts at five amp hour, which is awesome. It allows us to get a lot of work done, but it also allows you to switch over to a grinder. It allows you to switch over to their drills or about 150 other tools that Makita makes. And I think that's what makes this stand out. I would rather a lot of companies come out with more of these X2 type situations than pushing us into another battery platform. This just makes more sense and it allows the user to stay in a brand a lot easier. This is awesome. Now, the few things that we noted that were a little bit different, the power button took a little bit to get used to. It seemed to turn the saw off a lot faster than I'd like, but I got used to using it with the handle safety held down all the time. That goes a little bit against what I kind of taught myself is to keep your finger away from the trigger, but I use the chain brake when I'm moving around to make sure that I wouldn't accidentally hit the trigger and cause any damage to something I didn't want to cut. It made it easy, but after a little bit of time when I did release the handle trigger, I got used to pushing that button really quick and starting. It was just one more step that uh, I kind of got used to. I definitely didn't develop the muscle memory to it because I'm just used to pulling a, uh, the trigger on a gas chainsaw. But either way, after a little bit of use, that push button power on situation was not a big deal. Everything else on this saw worked great. Chain tensioner and uh, tool free adjustment was awesome. The chain that comes with it is great and the power for a 14 inch bar was absolutely phenomenal. We were able to cut through a lot of trees without any issue, get in some awkward positions and it only weighs 11 and a half pounds. So it worked out really well. Overall, I would highly recommend this to anyone in the way Makita is going about their batteries here. I think Makita is a great brand to jump into. They're not gonna change batteries up on you and it's gonna allow you to get into a lot of different equipment with the same battery platform. Just awesome. So stop by workshopaddict.com. We'll have more on this in our article there. Also follow us on social media. You'll see us out using these tools and you can ask us questions and we'll get back to you almost immediately. We have a lot of giveaways on this channel, so make sure you subscribe. Give us a like on this video, leave any comments below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great day.